Right, so I'm back in the world of Fallout 4, back on Teals from the Commonwealth, where I shoot things and explore Teals in and around the Commonwealth. So yeah, last time around, we helped out two Irish brothers and their father, um, something about finding a green jewel that turned out to be a baseball, potentially, and then some mobsters trying to shake him down, but I was very charitable, and uh, I helped him out at my own expense. I don't think I got paid. In fact, I lost a lot of money, but maybe that act of charity will cure my rare skin disease. It might. So far, it doesn't really seem to be working. But anyways, we're here at a bowling alley to explore a new tale from the Commonwealth. We still got four more to go, so I'm hoping to really just take down this list so we can move on to some new quest mods. I don't know, I gotta say, it's not really too busy near it. Mine has something to do with the fact that, you know, there's a few holes in your roof right there. You might want to think about, you know, fixing that up so it doesn't rain on the inside. Uh, anyways, what's Welcome up? Welcome to Back Alley Bowling. Did you bring your own head or do you want to rent one? You can't play the game without a head. Wait a minute. Are we using heads? Ah, man, if you cook these just right, they come out really perfectly. But I don't think they rule that well. Wait, where the hell did you go? No. Ah. Hey there. Welcome back. Here for a game? Um... Sure thing. Game? What do you mean? The game is bowling. As for the heads, well, as you can see, we don't use balls here. I mean, we tried. But it was boring as fuck. But one day, I cut off this thief's head and bowled it into his partner trying to escape. And with that, a new sport was born. What do you call it? Who were these guys? Raiders? Raiders, scavs, distant relatives, who knows? The point is, they're bowling balls now. I don't know, you know, you figure your bowling balls don't really have a long lifespan. Very ironically. Yes. Anything I can do to help out? As a matter of fact, there is. We're in need of some new balls. Some of them are starting to go bad. The smaller sizes I can take care of. But for our larger customers, I need a big head. Something that will hit those pins like it owed them money. As for where you can find one, well, I used to know a caravan trader named Bruce. Guy was strung out on buff out. Shrunken testicles and everything. But it ain't his jockstrap that interests me. It's his head. So... Not the small balls? Alright, well, murder for money. I can definitely do that. So, what's your story? What are you doing out here? I'm in charge. That's all you need to know. You do have a magnificent mustache. Any idea where he might have gone? Yeah, the other day I heard him and some heavy lifters were living in an old shack to the west of here. See, buff out swells your head like nobody's business. And I'm thinking one of them fiends has a melon worth bowling with. I want you to find me the biggest head in the bunch, whether it's Bruce's or one of his pals. Uh, eh, sure thing. Sure, why not? Great. You bring me that head, and I'll make sure you get paid. And I can appreciate that. Just a simple quest, you know? You clearly line out what I gotta do. I just gotta murder one guy. Gotta make sure I don't pop his head, though. That's gonna be the difficult part here, but I can appreciate that. Everything is just clear to me now. Not like that last quest where we were... Looking around for trinkets, for some odd reason. Hmm. Right, this has got to be a trap. Gotta scope out the perimeter here. Right, can we use the back entrance? We can't. Hmm. Right. Now I think we secure the perimeter. Guess we gotta barge through the front door here. This is the jab for a shotgun. Now just hold on, let me get to you. Uh, this thing. Perfect. Hmm. Well, I guess he OD'd. That's a weightlifter. That is also a weightlifter. Man, they sure are lifting weights in here. 
I can also see into oblivion right there. It's very peculiar house. I mean, it's got style. It looks like a shithole. Definitely, it's got that shithole thing going for it. Hey, Find anything useful? I guess you can't take it with you. Uh, so it looks like this person died from repeated blows to the head. With the Little League's perk, you recognize one of the weapons as a Little League baseball bat. Although given the force of the blow, it was clearly swung by an adult. There's also a note on the body, plays rather conspicuously. The world is full of sacrifice flies. What? Upon seeing one, a man of Boston will always go home. You recognize the terminology as baseball lingo. There's a baseball field nearby, perhaps visiting... It may provide further clues. Now you may be wondering how I can read this if I said I couldn't read. And the answer to that question will probably never come. But, I mean, I'm not really seeing a problem right here. It seems like his head is still pretty much intact. So why don't we just take these pieces with us? And we should be able to just bowl on right away. Alright, let's see. Baseball. This doesn't really look like baseball. Uh, I guess this is baseball. Isn't this rather a small baseball field right here? I mean, I don't really know too much about baseball, but... Okay. Right, we're looking around for a clue. Uh, another mysterious note. If you yearn for the return of America's pastime, come to the house south of the library marked with the signs of Boston's one true religion. Okay, one true religion. I mean, I really hope we're not tracking down the Church of Adam again. Because then I gotta bring more shotgun shells, definitely. Uh, right, south of the library. Oh man, this is really turning into a murder mystery right here. Oh. Uh. Well, we got a map marker. Man, I nearly thought I'd had to think here. Right. Okay. I guess we're gonna speak to a cult leader. Oh, they worship baseball. I know, wouldn't it just be easier just to find the next guy with a really gigantic head? Or are we gonna steal this head right here? I don't know. Right, well, Welcome, what's up? Pilgrim, to the house of Bruce. Um, who's Bruce? Bruce, who's that? Bruce was once a great leader of the baseballers. In the time before the Great War, he was a swatting prodigy, whose hat size was said to be in an unimaginable number. We thought he was forever lost to the Great Hall of Cooperstown, but according to legend, he left his head behind to be worn by another, a new Bruce, reborn. Um, okay, well, I think that Swatter guy is sort of spread his nonsense, it seems like. Yeah, you're pretty nuts. You know you're completely nuts, right? What he and Mo Cronin know could probably fill up an entire library of fake trivia. I know that a prophecy was made, and a prophecy fulfilled, and soon the Bambino's curse will be splintered. To deny this reality is true insanity. Um, Bambino what? What's your movement all about? We have the same goal as all men, to round the bases. From first base we hope to reach second, and from second we'll move on to third. Only then will the gates of home open, and our numbers will ascend to the scoreboard in the sky. And when the official scorer marks us down in his ethereal book, the curse of the dreaded Sultan will finally be broken. Look, I really don't care much for uh, joining another cult. I made that mistake once before. And he was, what can I do to help? I mean, I got this shotgun right here. I'm pretty sure I can just put that to the back of your head and uh, gently pull the trigger. Is there anything I can do to help out? Indeed there is. New Bruce doesn't accept his fate as the one manager. He doesn't understand he's not himself, but another from long ago. He's the reincarnation of Bruce the Bat, and he will lead us to victory over the devils in blue pinstripes. Blue pinstripes. Hmm. Uh, well, that is hey, one Bruce head right there. 
Hey, can we talk for a bit? Look, I'm in the middle of eliminating a baseball cult and finding the biggest head I can find. I don't have time for this shit. Just later. Yes, why is there three quest markers pointing towards the same thing, seemingly? Find a substitute head. Well, I guess that'd be a substitute, although I don't know. Is the friction coefficient on a skull lower than that of skin? These are the true questions. Well, based on the true glory, death is not the end. But they ascend to the great hall of Cooperstown. Of bowling. Which one is Bruce? Why is there a floating lighter? I guess Bruce is up there. The war between the Americans and the Nationals often hinged on the use of a designated base man who was allowed to replace an injured soldier in the field. We prayed that he would come, and he has returned. Mm, I don't know, your head is not even that big though. <clears throat> hey, you gotta let me out of here. These people are nuts. Well, that's one thing we agree on. Please, you gotta do something. Pick the lock, melt the bars, anything. Sweet. This is technically a beanie, isn't oh no, it? they're coming for us. Stop him. Protect Watch Bruce at all costs. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Holy shit. That guy's got a strong fucking head. Bad day to be the bad guys. I mean, if all they got is baseball bats, it should be a home run. Strike him out. All right. Why will my shotgun work? Right, I got an idea. Let's just use a machine gun. Alright, it's time to go use their own weapons against them. Oops, sorry, this word. Collateral damage. Into the mud, scum queen. No. Ah, Jesus Christ. Man, this is way harder than using guns. Right, well, that was, uh, that was very peculiar. I gotta say, some of these tills from the Commonwealth are, uh, are pretty odd. I never in my life thought that I'd meet a religious cult that worship baseball while looking around for a head to go use for bowling, along with floating, blown apart pieces of skull. This day is pretty odd. Excuse me. Thanks. You saved my life. I mean, look, I really, I just need your head, okay? I'm pretty sure you can live without it. I've seen several people that were alive without a head. I don't know how, but they did, so. And, I, and you don't look awfully bright, so I'm really in, I don't think you're using that brain up there, so you should be fine. If you just let me use this uh, knife I got in my back pocket, I'm pretty sure we can work this out. So, how do you plan to reward me exactly? Here's everything I got, a hundred caps. I don't know what I'll do without any money, but at least I'm alive. Well... Not for much longer. How are you feeling? I'll be fine now those wackos are dead. Look, I really just want to go bowling, and I mean, I'm going to invite my cousin over there too. It's going to be great. So So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Can't go back to Diamond City. Reminds me too much of baseball. Either way, thanks. Um, right. <laughs> okay, well, surprisingly... His head is still okay. Man, this is just one weird fucking day. Hmm. Well, I guess you do have visitors. They do look like a bunch of wackos. Hey, daddy -o. If you need fixing, I got me. Yeah. I you... love bowling. I don't like it when people look at me. That helps. Okay, well, I got, got you your head. head. I asked for. 
it's uh, slightly broken, but uh, yeah, I tried. There you go. Holy shit, is that who I think it is? Looks like old Brucey finally found his calling in life. And for your trouble, here, a few caps and one special gift. A lane named in your honor. Lane three ought to do, or should I say, lane you? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, and of course, you're welcome back anytime. I mean, can we go bowling? I'm pretty sure I can repurpose my iBot as a bowling ball. I mean, I'm getting quite tired of them. I don't think we can go bowling. No. No. Seems like all these heads are hot glue to the ground. I gotta find me a fresh head. Nice work getting that head for the boss. Real smooth. Just hold on, I gotta go find a new head. So what do you do here? I sell good vibes and good times. As for the others, Teddy hangs and wash out clangs. Pin, he runs the joint. Best not get on his bad side. Of course, if you haven't noticed, the big man is a straight up circle. He's only got one side. I don't need anything. Take it easy, my man. I mean, your head will probably do. If this isn't your day. That's my shotgun. No, I got them. This wasn't their day. Right, I guess your head has got to do. Now just stand still. There Damn it. Is. That's a wrap. Right, now we just gotta extract the teddy bear head. Ah, perfect. Right, we gotta give it a proper push. Okay, now that's the wrong lane. We gotta do better than this. Ringo, get out of the way. Uh, no. I don't know, I don't think these rule too well. Yeah, I don't really see this happening anytime soon, so I got a better idea. It's, it's called the SA tactic. It's a very famous bowling tactic, but basically, we take one of these SAs, we throw it, and then we run the fuck away because it's gonna explode. As is it, they're quite explosive these days. But yeah, that's a strike right there, so uh, I guess that wraps this tail from the Commonwealth, and uh, it was a very interesting day today. I'm not sure what we learned, but I guess we, we learned that the wasteland is just filled with a bunch of fucking wackos. There's a job polishing heads too. Um, not that kind of head. You know what I mean, no, no homo. Yeah, so uh, anyways, next time around we'll explore some additional tales from the Commonwealth, and uh, if you're still here, leave a like, that's very important to me, you know? Makes me feel good about myself. And uh, until next time.